What is the cause of birthmarks? Birthmarks are colored marks on our skin which are present at birth or appear shortly afterwards. Birthmarks are of two types, vascular and pigmented. Vascular birthmarks are caused when a lot of blood vessels clump together or they are stretched wider than usual. Pigmented birthmarks are generally caused when cells called melanocytes grow together in clusters. Birthmarks may also be inherited sometimes and some of them may be similar to marks on other family members. Mm. Huh? Why do some people develop allergies? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc. Thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. Mm. How will we sound on Mars? Firstly, because of the cold Martian atmosphere, sound travels at a lower speed on Mars as compared to that on Earth. Hmm. Secondly, as the Martian atmosphere is extremely sparse, it affects the way sound waves travel from one point to the other. Hence, the volume of sound heard on Mars is automatically lower. Hmm. Lastly, the Martian atmosphere is made up of around 96% carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide absorbs a lot of higher pitched sounds. As a result, only lower pitched sounds can travel long distances on Mars. Hmm. What exactly is blood rain? Firstly, around Sahara Desert, brownish dust and sand carried away by storms mixes with water droplets in the clouds, thus giving the rain its brownish red color. Mm. Secondly, in Kerala, red spores of Trentipolelia annulata algae get carried away huh? by winds and mix with the falling water droplets, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. Lastly, in Zamora, Hematococcus pluvialis algae actually get caught in the rain clouds. As a result, they get stressed and produce a red pigment called astaxanthin, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. Huh? Are treadmills bad for us? Firstly, on a treadmill, instead of our leg muscles, the propulsion belt propels our body forward. Hence, it limits our muscle development. Secondly, as compared to treadmills, nature provides us uneven surfaces and turns, thus allowing our leg muscles to learn and adapt. Thirdly, most treadmills don't have a downward incline feature. Hence, the runners don't get the benefit of jogging downhills. Lastly, Aww. running on treadmills can be extremely boring as compared to running outdoors. Hmm. <laughs> What is an Adam's apple? Adam's apple is basically a protruding chunk of thyroid cartilage that surrounds our larynx or a voice box. It is more prominent in men because during puberty the larynx tends to grow more in males than it does in females. As a result, in huh? men it causes the cartilage to project outwards, thus creating an Adam's apple. Some researchers believe that a larger Adam's huh? apple may also play a role in deepening our voice. Hmm. What is cholesterol huh? in the human body? No idea, but Amsum does not have any cholesterol. Oh, Amsum. <laughs> cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance. It is present in all the cells of our body. Cholesterol helps in building cells, vitamins, as well as hormones. Our liver makes all the cholesterol needed by us. But sometimes, our eating habits can force our liver to make more cholesterol than necessary. It combines with other substances and forms a thick heart deposit on the inside of our arteries. As a result, our arteries become narrow, increasing the risk of heart disease or stroke. Hmm. How does a jellyfish sting? 
No big deal. Even Am Sum can sting. Oh, Am Sum. Jellyfish's tentacles contain thousands of venom containing stinging cells called conidocytes. Conidocytes are basically small compartments which house many needle like stingers. The stinger lies coiled under high osmotic pressure. Now, when there is a trigger due to an external force, the lid of the stinging cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces the mini needle like stinger to shoot out, penetrate, and finally inject venom into the victim. This discharge can occur in less than one millionth of a second. This is how a jellyfish stings. Hmm. How can huh? parrots talk? Are you kidding me? Parrots can't talk. Huh? Oh, um, some. According to a research, parrots' brains have an additional structure called shells, or outer rings which surround those areas which control vocal learning. These shells are believed to help parrots to be really good at copying sounds, thus giving them the ability to talk like humans. Hmm. In addition to this, parrots are highly sociable animals. As they crave interaction as well as attention, they start mimicking us to become a part of our flock. Hmm. Do the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans mix? Absolutely not. I have told them not to. Oh. Um, sum. The answer is density. Density huh? is the measure of mass present per unit volume. Uh. Lesser the density, lighter <laughs> will be the object. Hmm. The Atlantic Ocean contains much more salt, as a result of which it is much denser. On the other hand, the water in the Pacific Ocean is less salty, hence its density is much lower. Now, this difference in density due to salinity creates a kind of barrier called a halocline between the two oceans. As a result, both the oceans don't mix that easily. Hmm.